Hey guys, welcome back to another snapshot video. Last week we got the big snapshot, a lot of new content was introduced. As expected, this week is less to talk about, but it's still worth it to keep up to date because some of the new experimental features got slightly changed, for example, and there's also a ton of bug fixes. Pigs are now also able to spawn in the cherry grove biome. So it was a bit of a weird situation in a patch notes from last week. It said that sheep, pigs and bees can spawn in this biome, but both in the trailer and also in the game, rabbits, sheep and bees spawned here. So we still have rabbits here already confirmed, but additionally it seems like pigs as a fourth mob can now also spawn in this biome. Similar to other flowers, you can now instamine pink petals just with your fist. The crafting recipe for the brush has actually changed. Now it's no longer a string pickaxe, you actually need some copper for it. It's also indicated here there's a bit of copper at the handle. Okay, so you need one stick, one copper ingot, and a feather to make a brush. Finally, another use for copper, but I think there's probably not a reason to have a lot of brushes. Or This is not really a good copper sink, so hopefully in the future there will be a, a real use for copper at some point that isn't a building block. I still dream of new redstone components that somehow utilize copper. Torch flowers and torch flower seeds were brought in line with the other seeds and flowers now. So the torch flower is an actual flower now, you can use it to make a honey farm for example so the bees can pollinate it. Bees can also pollinate the torch flower seeds, make them grow faster. And you can even use the torch flower seeds to breed chickens. So there were a lot of like little uh, bug fixes and additions that were made this week. For example, last week it wasn't necessary to breed sniffers to get the advancement. Stuff like that was yeah, all fixed this week. You can even make suspicious stew now with the torch flower. So let's check that out. Let's see what we can get. We need a bowl, a red mushroom, a brown mushroom, and torch flower for the suspicious stew. We eat it in survival, we will get four whole seconds of night vision. Amazing. So I never really got why the suspicious stew was added to the game. It seems really pointless. Get some sort of a potion effect for just a couple seconds. I actually researched it today. Um, so according to the wiki, it would link to a video by Minecraft on YouTube, to the official Minecraft channel. To, uh, the suspicious stew was actually added to the game because the developers sort of a way to communicate that the lily of the valley, which was added in the same update, is poisonous. So the lily of the valley in the first place wasn't edible. Not sure why we had to communicate that it's poisonous. But yeah, now if you make a suspicious stew of the lily of the valley, you get a negative effect. It's also kind of weird because in order to actually make the suspicious stew, you need to use those red mushrooms there. That to me look a lot like fly agarics, which are really poisonous and you should never eat in the first place. So I'm not really sure if they're <laughs> consistent with their messaging here. But yeah, I don't think the effort is really worth it to make those torch flowers, uh, getting the sniffers in the first place and all of that for four seconds of night vision. Nah. The enchantment glint also has been adjusted again the last couple of weeks. It was really hard to tell the enchanted items apart from the non-enchanted ones. But this week definitely got better. So at a quick glance, I can definitely tell if a pickaxe is enchanted or not. Or if you have a notch apple or just a regular golden apple. Additionally, potions no longer look like they're enchanted. So the enchantment glint was removed. I think it's actually an improvement. So... You can now definitely see the, the color of the potions a little bit better and maybe also quickly distinguish them in the hopper maybe a little bit quicker. So definitely good change there. Um, the enchantment glint, what's it called? Strength is now also set to 75% by default. So you can still play around there in case you want more or less. There's also a new type of subcommand that I actually found quite interesting. So I can now do execute positioned over. And then you have four options, motion blocking, motion blocking or leaves, ocean floor or world surface. It also basically height maps. So we're going to select motion blocking and then run a set block command and place some gold blocks. So it will now place a gold block yeah, on top of the world wherever I'm standing. This is pretty neat. I thought this could maybe be used to completely code a world in a certain type of block. So for example, you could have like snow layers in a desert, but I'm not really the biggest expert when it comes to commands. I find I was really restricted that I can only ever 
yeah, set block one block. Because if I would now change the set block to actually a fill command, then it would still basically place a layer of blocks at the same height centered on the player. Um, but I tried around a little bit in some armor stands and my, yeah, with my really limited knowledge, I got it to work. So I'm gonna set this up real quick and we can code the whole world with a certain type of block. So I summon a warden with no AI, no gravity up there. I'm now gonna use the warden to uh, move him around and summon armor stands there real quick. So just to line it up. There we go. And then we're gonna move the armor stand forward and place some blocks. So we could, for example, do tinted glass. Let's try that. We're just gonna coat the yeah, entire world now with tinted glass. A bit laggy. <laughs> Since I'm not really an expert on commands, there's probably a better way to do this. Let's actually stop it. Quite an interesting effect. Let's try snow layers as well and cover the whole cherry growth biome in some snow. So that's really quite neat. I have to admit I had way too much fun with this and also tried with sea pickles, turtle eggs or rails. So I tried this with endermites, rabbits and so on. Could probably make 10 more bug reports that you are sitting high on certain entities. I never thought I would say this, but apparently sitting on someone's face is also now supported in Minecraft. So if you mount a villager. Alright, so that's all for today. Thanks guys for watching and see you next time. Bye bye.